Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays. This is Pacific Drive. I've just been fixing up the car and I uh, thought I would show you what I want. I've got this ARC dock. Uh, this enhanced version of the ARC device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief and first aid to the occupant. To the to the occupant. Ah, of course. It's not me going mad. It's written right there. Of the driver's seat. However, your energy, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on the battery. You still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, is extremely illegal stolen technology, or some combination of both. So, I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> it's just, it exists. Um, and I'm not going to install it because we were having battery issues recently. Um, I did want to install a new battery. I remember that much. Uh, and we want this dumpster pill. So let's use it in there and see what amazing stuff we get out of it. whole bunch of uh, flares, which is kind of nice. A new decal kit. Interesting. Let's uh, hoover it up, see what we get. I've cleared out the paints, I've cleared out the decals, so now I've got plenty more space in case we ever get a new colour. <laughs> As if. Um, oh, we've got beige, in, in case you're wondering. Uh, this is now a bit more empty, and I have had to replace a couple of bits on my car, because some things are starting to get fragile, which is what that symbol means. There's no repair for it, it's just old, and we're going to have to get a new one. Uh, we did scavenge those from vehicles out in the wild so it's not entirely you know it it, it it seems fair that maybe we got things that are a little bit the worse for wear considering they've been out in the in the wilds for such a long time uh this goes in here what have we got here shark teeth um so as we replace these bits that we've painted so nicely with these retro stripes we can maybe put some shark teeth on them at some point instead um I'm just going to bung these few extra bits back. Find homes for them. And then we can see what we're doing next. I did learn that I, I put all of the paints and decal kits that I had duplicates of in here. And I got a decent amount of scrap metal and some fabric and, and chemicals and things like that. Which is kind of nice actually. Um, so it is worth melting those things down. Apparently. Uh, who knew? Because um, I'm uh, very low on chemicals, as it turns out. Which is an important ingredient in repair putty. So, <laughs> I haven't got a battery jumper, apparently. Right, so, you can stay on the ground. So, we want it... With... In the last episode, if you cast your minds back to however long it was since I actually recorded this. Um, we had a bit of a panic trying to get home. So we were out in the nice... We, we went across the wall. We were on the other side of the wall. Now here's, actually, now I'm thinking about it. We get highways to these places like this, right? Look at the length of that highway, BTW and FYI. Why can't I click on this highway? Oh, because... Huh. Um, but... I'm imagining there's no way of getting a highway across the wall, right? So we can... Unless these bridge things will let us find one? Um, but it means that any time we want to go in the second zone, or and indeed the third zone later on, we're going to have to take a lot of trips to get there. That seems like a, a major faff, <laughs> in my opinion, if, if, you, uh, if you don't mind me saying. So... I'm hoping that maybe we unlock a highway that does go through the wall, but I guess we'll see. But we want to not necessarily um, follow the, the 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 mission for now, because when we were in this one, which obviously we're going to have to go back when we go there, uh-oh, um, we set up the stability anchor, and then the storm came in at such a rate, we couldn't get any unstable limb, which we need a lot of. We haven't got enough to do anything, so we're going to have to find some. Um, and I'm thinking maybe we go to one of these other places that we've got here. That looks like a highway uh, thing, actually. So maybe, you know, I've answered my own question. I don't know much about American road signs, but I'm pretty sure that refers to uh, a motorway, essentially. So maybe we go here. This one leads to just there. This one. I want to go here, but why can't I go here? Maybe I can't scan here. Maybe I can't scan here. I guess we'll see where we can go. Let's have a look for something that may be puncture probability. Acids devours fuel. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, 
These look like they might have highways at the end of them as well. So we could go through here uh, and just leg it. <laughs> because we know we can get there from here. Because uh, we know this one's going to be permanently stable, which is nice. The, the, the quest missions, the quest areas, the mission areas are often perpetually stable, but even... Uh, I mean, those speak for themselves, right? <laughs> I don't want a whole bunch of punctures, but I can't... There isn't anywhere else on in the in area too. Why can't I go... I don't understand why I can't go to these places. It says there's a dead end. No stable exits. It's because I can't get through here to there. But then how could I possibly get here? I don't, I don't honestly know. You can't leave it. I don't think you can. I think dead end means you can't create a gate because you see this one says two k length for gateway, where this one says dead end. This one says no stable exits, which I think means you can't leave by road. But it doesn't say about leaving by, you know, um, it. Well, we can. How many charge? We've got two scanner charges left. We might as well scan this one. Corrosive waterways, interesting. An anchor party. That sounds good. I'm guessing that's why it's like blue, basically, right? Because this one's blue. I think we can tell maybe. And but puncher probability seems like it's not a good thing. But that's a blue one. Maybe it's the, sort of the level. Uh hmm. I do want to go on this side of the wall, is basically what I'm saying here. We can't get out of here, so that's no use. Can't go any of these. We can only go to here. If this has no stable exits, how can we get to here? Come on. Speak sense, mate. And this one, you can't teleport out of it. Okay, fine. Uh, right. What was I about to do before all of this? We need to finish off... We should make a battery jumper. And we should make a new impact hammer... I think we're basically ready to go at that point. I'm practicing in my head, but it's not working. I actually think I can't do it. Okay. Um, put it in here. Now, do we want to install a new battery? Let's see if we can make one for a start. Uh, I think we maybe we make it from the... Yeah. Right, so a side battery is this. We need unstable energy for that. This is a plasma charger. Reinvigorates the battery. This is a hydro generator. That's right, we wanted this actually. We want a side rack for it. So that'll fill up our side racks. It's getting to the point where the amount of space we have on the car is, you know, restricting the amount of things we could do with the car. Um, I think I would like this. Then we can make one. So we've got this, which we can put here once we've made uh, side storage. But you can't make another side rack, so this is the last one. We can swap these out, of course. We feel it's necessary. Not quite sure how that gets wired up, but you know, and eventually we'll get a roof rack, and presumably some storage in here as well. But maybe we can do without the auto parker. We are actually capable of doing that. It's just anyway. Let's go. Oh, which side is the steering wheel on? <laughs> this is these crazy backwards cars. Right, Alonzi. What we've forgotten? I don't know. Let's leave without it. 
I've got 85 battery charge now. That's actually a major upgrade. We've still got our lightning rod. Probably could have uh, maybe scanned one more place, but I don't... I want to see what the map's doing. I don't really... I'm not interested in the other places. I'm going to go and get some unstable limb. That's today's job. See where it gets us. Right, where can we go? So look, do not enter dead end, right? Dead end, do not enter. So we can go to these places. Uh, this place, this place. And the other place we checked out was over here. So I think maybe we want to go here. Um, well, just because it's not so far away, right? This is... How far away? Why does it tell me the distance? Am I going mad? I don't know. Um, oh, this is nine hours away, but it doesn't tell me how far this is away. Whereas this one... It's also nine hours. Interesting, because this was six hours. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, well, we can't go to it, can we? We have to go to here, then to here, then to here, then to... Like, we can't just leave. I want to see what this one's like. Puncture probability and acid devours fuel. We've got a lot of new things. Not a lot of new things, actually. I just want some Kalim, okay? So, yeah, let's... um. Do something new. We haven't been for a while. Let's go somewhere. They do say the worst decision you can make is no decision at all. Heavy fog, apparently. Okay, fine. We're here. Might as well get a bit of limb on the way. Through. Just go here. And then leave. That seems good. Didn't change my decals. Hmm. I might have been smart. I'm not a fan of this weird monster thingy. How do we play this game? I don't remember. What is it? What are we playing? How does Pacific Drive work? Wriggling Wreck? Hello. About all that mess with Oppie. It's cool. Th th there's no question. Oppie is a, is a, a once-in-a-generation genius. I I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is... Disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Something to do with hypnosis. Ah, flag up. That's nice. Dang it. Wasn't very good, was it? Yeah. Really good chunk, thank you. Really need to look out for these Arda places because the chemicals are very useful. They go into repair pussy. Which is a thing I don't have much of because I keep using it. So I keep needing to repair because I keep getting smashed up. Francis, but I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it's not that I doubt our abilities, but no one knows the zone like that old bat. You heard what she said. She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our jobs. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proof that she's open to working Whoa. with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. Well, it's getting political. It's getting personal. What I'm here now. About? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This is a 
like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. <sighs> all you work in Lim R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career, your entire life, you sacrificed it all for Arda, and how did they thank you? With a black hole in your resume, where you can't tell anyone what you did. You couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for ten years. So no, I I'm not letting this go. Not for me, but especially not for you. Th 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 that's not... Never mind. You know, sometimes I wonder, how much of you staying here was actually to hunt these legends? Or if it was because you had nowhere else to go. And these guys, huh? Right, let's uh, travel along through. Can we go up there? I'm gonna go round. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Round seems okay. Not too far. I put this here. But that attracts all of the pulses that I would otherwise have to avoid myself. Yes. And it should charge it up. Are you alright? Seems okay. I think it's charged it up, so that went okay. This is a uh, heavy fog, is heavy, huh? It's interesting that I couldn't scan this area. So I didn't know what I was in for on the in-between step. I only knew what I was in for at the end of my journey, which is the next step. Is that a real door? Never seen that before. No. That would be cool. Now, this car is heckin' zapped, huh? It ain't charging me up anymore, but it's still zapped. It's holding on to that electricity. It's because of the rubber. It's got rubber boots on, so it's not grounding itself. Maybe I could bump into the wall or something. Now we need to get up there. Because <laughs> that was a tunnel. I think we can do that. This is the same help I'm stuck as when we tried to run away yesterday. Yesterday? Last episode. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same up at all. Can we get up there? We can barely make it. Ugh. Well, I chose not to try before, and now I'm here. Wishing I'd bother trying before. It really doesn't want me to go up this hill, huh? You know what? Kind of agree. Try this one. Nope. 
Oh, we've got time. Let's go the long way. Right, give up your secrets, which they better include oh. uh, flipping chemicals. Yoink. Thank you, appreciate it. Gears into transistors. No, thank you. Put chemicals on the other side of that. I might be tempted to craft things to go into it, but the same thing I'm low on right now. That's why I keep going on about it. What's in here? It's a squire. Any pot? What's happened? I don't need that. I don't need this either. Look, that's worse than the one we've got and the spare that we forgot we had. <gasps> armored door. Do you armored doors? No. We do need a spare armored door. Why don't you, uh. Which one is it? This one. Yeah. Go on the ground. Get off. Whoa! Wish it would decide if it's gonna do a single shot or not. Right, you need a bit of uh, spit and polish, huh? armored door. Right. We've only got this one to replace now. Uh, we don't need to get in that side. Because we're driving on the wrong side of the road. So we need to get in this side. Right. Go in, I suppose. That's not an armored door, is it? Not that I can take it off. No. I don't think I can make a liberator. I'm gonna have to do another journey for an armored door. Or yeah, look, I need I need the stuff and I need a level two craft mat. I'm way off, <laughs> absolutely no chance. Sunshine. That's right. Maybe I'll find one. Stranger things have happened at sea. Whoops. Also not whoops. Sorry, not sorry. No radio. Get on. I think there was an update. Some of these models are new. Right, isn't it? Maybe some of these areas will be new as well. Cool, that's bright. Maybe I don't need my uh, 
save a bit of battery by turning these lights off. That's a bit scary. Creepy voices in the electricity is uh, mildly disconcerting. But the jolly music fixes everything. I ain't off a winger. I don't want to go up the seat, pal. Get up it. Shut your mouth. Ooh. Hmm. Expected better from you, pneumatic deposit box. Oh, jeez, really? Guess we'll see how fast this is going. Before we worry about it, but because what happens when you don't have perpetual stability, huh? Get a storm eventually. I think we've got time. We don't need to worry about storms. We're bigger than that. This was really hard to get to, as it turns out. Yeah, that's a slow storm. We ain't on the other side of the wall just now, huh? This is the friendly territory. I'm intrigued to see what the, um... The limb detector does. A radar machine. Give it a go. Let's try it out. All that noise. Oh, there's a <laughs> there's a can opener just hanging out. Fine, cool, no worries. Uh, right, let's get it out and have a look. Ooh. Okay. Ah, that's handy too.
kind of. I've had better loot from these places, I'll be honest. Thank you. I don't want to actually get caught in the storm by forgetting how, uh, like, misunderestimating how fast it's going. So, um. There it is. How much use does it take? Not too much. There's a lot of, uh, you get a lot of goes. Like that. I like that. Just sprints 100 meters back to the car instead of driving in the first place. Whoa, careful of that. Tank the damage, it's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm just the driver. Storm seems okay for now. Let's get in. Try and drive a bit more towards the other one. I wish I could zoom this map in. Can I? Can. Yep. It's not far away. I'm gonna not worry about you. There it is. That's, that's really handy, actually. It gives you a temporary idea of which direction to go in. You get a lot of uses out of it. It doesn't highlight it for a long time, which might sort of give the game away. Make it a little bit too easy to find them. It's going to be very handy when we're in somewhat more nightmarish um, terrain like we get on the other side of the wall. Right, let's get out of here. The levers this way. And then onto the beaten path. Which is this one. Yeah. See you at the end. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a lot of can openers. Just ignore them. Just want attention. Something's landed near the entrance, look at that. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I can't get it. Okay, just leave it. Crunch smash. Broken that panel. Fix that in a bit. But look. How slow is that storm? So slow. There's, there's almost no reason not to go and have a look at that. Um, you know, falling down. What's the name? Like cash from the sky. Should be able to get to it quite easily. And we're such good drivers now. Immediately drives into a boulder. I'm going for it. Done this in worse conditions. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Such good drivers, as I was saying.
know that noise. <laughs> what is that? You have to leave these containers in the middle. Of oh, I, I was trying to figure out the light sprightening thing, right? Was it when it goes uphill? Did we figure that out? No. Was it when it goes sideways? Maybe. There we are. Down there somewhere. This way a bit. Ooh. And a truck. Maybe it's the truck. It's not the truck. This big smoking thing over here, probably. Yeah. Right, careful. There's a lot of. Yeah, a lot of radiation involved in this. So, get the door. Oh, jeez. Take it. Go back. Hello, what are you talking about now? What? It says steel bumper, don't care. Uh, red paint, don't care. Take the repair thirty because I'm low on the other stuff. I've got a blowtorch. Right, great. I think the car's taking damage from the radiation. Let's go. We have an FPS test here then. Open it. Ooh, a dumpster pill, not from a dumpster. Unorthodox, but okay. Here we go. Right. I'll see you on the other side. So, like, once we've travelled through the wall... See, there's no... This is interesting. There's no way from here through the wall. This is where we breached the wall... I think here or here. Oh, here. This is where we breached the wall in the first place. But now that we have done so, there are routes that just go straight through the wall. So we don't have to wend our way through that wall again. Which is great, actually. It's a nice quality of life. It maybe doesn't really work in the law sense, but <laughs> we can hand wave that. Oh, we're a bit the worse for wear. After driving into the storm and out again. I'm guessing that there will be highways that go through across the wall. Otherwise, why tell me about highways? There's two so far. Uh, I'm hoping that there will therefore be more. Uh, right, let's let's sort this place out. This thing out. Stream conditions. It's a problem. I found out the stream conditions. Uh, this is going to die soon, fine. Oh, now we've got... Okay, we replaced it and it's coming back again. Uh, hopefully this will fix it sufficiently. I hope this is a, a normal storm and not a send me into the trees storm. So an external battery does have a damage meter, which is interesting to note. Uh, and we need to put a bit of fuel in our space. Um, I'll just use this one. Remember, this is um, this is the other side of the wall, so this is going to be a bit scarier. Uh, you can go in there. Can you go in there? Yes. Thank you. Get rid of that, please. And that. And just transfer it. A bit blowy. That's alright. 
Right, let's try and get some of this limb, shall we? What's this? That's a gate that we can't open, okay. I don't know if all limb here is unstable. I expect maybe. Should have got the hydro generator. Whoa. Okay, there's a puncture likelihood, probably from these. Probably just means more of that. So watch out for the ground. Whoa! That's awesome. Uh, already missed a place. Ah! Acid! Ow! I think acid said it was worse, maybe, in this place? I can't remember. I've already forgotten what the conditions in this area are. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Whoa. That lightning is real. It's not an effect in the distance is what I mean by that. I mean, I think I could be hit by it. this do? What? Oh, maybe I'll break. Okay. That was already broken. Ooh. Ooh. Well, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have bothered trying to explode all them blokes. Tourists. Oh, that's better. I like that. This is a wet road. Well, I'll drive through it. Too late. <laughs> Damage is done. Get out of it. Right, that's it. It saps fuel. Oh, jeez. That might be a problem. Acid saps fuel. Yes. Hmm. Keep an eye out for a fuel can, then. We've got a small bit spare. Oh, I forgot that. We need to find some light on the ground now. Oh dear. I've not given myself a very good head start on this particular mission. I'm gonna have to go carefully, I think. Whoa! Something's spitting acid at me. That's too much. Oh jeez. That's pretty funny. I didn't know that would work, and then it did work, and I was fun find it funny. <gasps> Chemicals. Brilliant. Uh that was no good. I don't I don't appreciate that. <laughs> to be honest with you. That's my emergency fuel. Just as I'm saying avoid the acid. This little bugger shows up, jumps on me, and starts flipping barfing all over me. The exact stuff that I just said I need to avoid. Bats. Still right up there. Look, this barely visible to be honest. Can I have I scan this yet? Is it even there? Have I even scanned this? Look, spike log, cough box. Oh, that's cough box. Okay. What this? Anything? No. This is gonna. This is dangerous. <laughs> this is a dangerous mission. Deary me. Okay. Moving on. Actually, fix up the car a bit first while you're uh, not in the wind and rain.
flat tire, huh? Yeah. Whoa! That genuinely scared the crap out of me. Get lost, you son of a bitch. Go away. Uh, right. Um, very scary. So you have to turn the car back on. So I need to be very careful. Uh, is that a giant great hill? I can't get it. <laughs> yes. Didn't consider that. Please stop moving. Oh, it's a... Uh, okay. It's a pest storm. That's alright. What's over there? It's a left right sort of storm. So I haven't figured out why the lights brighten, by the way. It's another thing on my to do list. I'm going to pass quickly, because it's kind of annoying. It's actually over there. Oh, right, I moved the blinking dot, didn't I? By pressing space, trying to stop. So I have learned that space moves the marker, so if you're trying to click on the marker spot and it won't let you, you just use the space bar. This left-right is a uh, storm is annoying. It keeps giving me the question mark things, which are fun to listen to, and then they go away because the storm's turning my radio off again. Bothersome indeed. This is super dangerous. <laughs> I'm gonna get punctured to heck. I'm gonna lose all my fuel. Is this seriously still going? Whoa. I think I need to stop relying on being zapped in order to uh, gain battery back. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, you take that. Nice. Get out of here. This is horrible. <laughs> this is impossible. I hate it. Let me out. When we get on the road, I'm going to try. To repair a bit. And maybe fix something. Okay. It's just not safe here. Got a bit of rep repairs. Oh, fix the tyre. That's what I need to sort out. Maybe whack some repair putty on something. Can't believe how much fuel I just got stolen from me by that bunny. Very upsetting. I could leave at any point, really. Uh, in that case, turn the car up regularly.
Boris are eating tins at me again. Is it actual food? Is it coming from my inventory? That doesn't seem to be. Oh, I need to make another. Wonder if the uh, tourists are attracted to these sap compressors because they're made of the same stuff to some extent. You get so much more from them. Oh, maybe I can make a puncture repair kit. Oh, I've got one. Something here looked very damaged. Please go away. <laughs> I like it. Uh, right. This game is not messing around anymore, I'll tell you that. Let's see if we can get something out of this collection of houses. Well, I'd like a fuel can to be lying around on the side of the road, just easy to access, that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. No. Well. It's very annoying. Got to keep an eye out. So much stuff now. What if a bunny jumps on my back whilst I'm doing this? It would cost me more to get it than it will to... Then I'll learn from it. Don't like these zappy tourists either. Deal with a tourist or two, but it's going to be all electrified. It's naughty. That's what I'm saying. See that? Exploding porpoises. Now who's zapping me? Told you. Sod off. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Gotta keep an eye out on the. Uh, I think limbing them bunnies has made them inert. Not sure though. properly sealed up then. Storms are brewing. Oh, 
That's handy. <laughs> the flare came back down. Lore. Thank you. We might have time for a lore dump today. We'll go home soon. Because this is scary and I don't like it. That's a large dumpster pull. I thought they were only two by two. They must have come in different sizes. Or I could have been wrong. Either of these is a possibility. Um, I do want to try and get as much of this limb as I can. Maybe we can just drive out the back of this place. Get it there. Seems dangerous. I don't want to get caught by any more fuel draining juice. Seems okay. Park up here and hope for the best. Nothing gets us while we're waiting. And then uh, pick this up. Give it a wallet. Over here. Gave me another ping when I wasn't sure. Did you see that? Not like this. Hot dust, hot dust. Running through the hot dust. Found it. I'm glad they put in the thing where you get the <laughs> the limb back when you use it to open the gateway. Imagine having to do this and then not having the limb when you finish. Right, that's that one sorted out. Right, there's one more behind us. I think that'll do. I don't want to push my luck too far. We need enough fuel to get out of here. He said, ooh, considering it's going to be constantly zapped by things in the world. Because if we have to drive out and get to the, you know, we should be using this way more often, by the way. If we have to drive out to the gate and just go through a whole bunch of anomalies that are going to break our car. Um, we want as much fuel as we can get our hands on so that all that draining doesn't affect us too much, obviously. Hopefully, obviously. Have I got another puncture? I think I might. Just based on the noises I can hear. Could be the rain. Not really sure. No. That's not going to help. A lesson learned. We need a lot more um, fuel capability if we're going to be coming to places that have got this sort of silly levels of <laughs> fuel drainage. There it is. This is a really handy radar. This place is an absolute wreck. We need to leave. Let's sort ourselves out with some getting out of here juice. No. Wrong door. So annoying being English. <laughs> Why can't I live in a worse country? Right. Let's open a gate. We 
it may have caused a storm to show up. Naturally. I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out of fuel. I, I genuinely think I could probably soft lock myself into a fuel problem uh, in, in this zone. I'm paying attention until I can turn on the gate that was near where we just were. Because it looks like the easiest one to leave by. Crude door, crude bumper. No, thank you. Further? Maybe on the bridge? I'm glad I'm on the bridge rather than under it. It really seems like it's just when I turn the wheel, but we have to be moving forwards and turning at the same time. Look, if I turn sharply, it brightens the lights, right? If I just turn the wheel, it doesn't. If I just accelerate, well, I don't know if it does because <laughs> I can't accelerate hard enough. To, I think it might have something to do with the car turning sharply, or I did it again there. Look. cannot isolate a reason why these lights are changing brightness. Aha. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Boom. Can't miss that. That is a fast storm now. Whoa! Did I do that? This car is not going to come out of this in a good shape, I think. That doesn't help. <laughs> I think we're okay, actually. We may have got a couple of anomalies on the way, but... Getting out of here was far easier than I thought it was going to be, which makes me happy because I was scared. And I don't have to listen to that gospel anymore. I like how I leave this gate open. <laughs> Who put that there? My my cut my. What are you talking about, man? Right, we are safe. We just need to figure out what the smeg is wrong <laughs> with the car. Sort that out. Sort that out. Sort this out. And have a, let's have a go at the, uh, the tinker station, right? It's just the lights that get brighter. It's something to do with either... It's not strictly turning... But it's turning while moving, certainly does it. Let's see what the options are. Okay, so. Car. It could be moves fast, it could be moves slow. It could be is off ground, but I don't think so. It could be moves uphill or downhill. It could be is on an incline. I don't think it's that. 
Is there anything about the wheels? Just a steering wheel. Swerves hard? Headlights. Brightens. Yes. That was a complete guess. That can... Swerves hard? Are you serious? I've got five! <laughs> I found one! Light replacement kit. Fine. What is this? I don't like this. Fix. Select this. There's four more quirks. And I've not noticed any of them. <laughs> that is insane, man. How can I have not noticed that many problems with the car? Right. Um, I'm going to do this sort of thing off camera, but I want to have a look. This is probably still... Yeah, this is still um, fragile. It's completely repaired, but it's still fragile. Um, so let's have a see what this wants for a start. It's 7am and it's time to find out if these anomalies like rock and roll. Maybe they do. Uh, they should do. So, uh, what do you want from me? Oh, it's saying, look for the arc dock in Oppie's hideaway. Hey, we've got stuff to do. Oh, this is just the hideaway. I thought it would be right there. Uh, okay. Is there anything I can touch at all? Finding that button in the last episode was very difficult. Because it's so small. I'm not entirely sure I'm necessarily going to find the next part. I don't know what I'm looking for. I had a quick look on the internet and it said that if it's not there then you can hoover it up if it gets stuck somewhere. That didn't work either. Because there's nothing in the inventory. And normally you can open this, but not today. And this is empty. I don't know. We'll find it. Maybe it has despawned. Maybe it'll respawn when we uh, come back into the game. So we'll see. Uh, let's do a lore dump. So if you don't care, then thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, I hope you will join me for the next one when we're going to go wandering. See what we can do. Um, okay, look. Now we can go here. That's interesting to me because that's a highway. But let's let's follow the. Um, Let's follow the quest next time. But if you're still with me for the dumping of lore upon you so that you can read all the things that we've learned about, then uh, then let us listen and begin. Sap compressed a partial memo. Source unknown, circa 1965. I think at last that we may have perfected the crystalline form of the strange, excuse me, new carbon sap. With Dr. Turner's focused electrostimulative limb induction, we can essentially grow crystals almost casually as if we were doing a high school homework assignment. Perhaps I'm exaggerating a little here. We still need to set up the inductors on location, and they must be carefully monitored to avoid overgrowth, as we are not even close to observing consistent development. Still, the resource, the resource costs are low and the rewards are plain. We can begin to compress and shape sap, and then collect and use the resulting crystals in far greater quantities than ever. And the applications of this, they could be extraordinary. So this was actually engineered. Burt Bunny. Memo, FAO Dr. Patel, June 28th, 1965. We were right. The compound is organic. I'll transmit a full analysis shortly, but in the meantime, the acidic effects come from a solution that appears to be primarily a mix of formic and hydrochloric acid. While the gelatinous qualities come from a fatty substance that seems to include something very similar to palmitic acid. The mix is precisely balanced. Exactly how it is synthesized is a mystery. The closest comparison I can make right now is to insects that also create organic acids, though we both know that's a stretch. Are we sure these things aren't alive? Spike wog. Teletype, autoscript, ARDA, ref Carol V1418-101064. Sir! Staff car stuck on a bush, sir. No, sir, this is a different bush, sir. Yes, it's another bush again, but this one is razor sharp bush. Uh, car is maybe a little cut up and we can't move it or we risk making it worse, sir. Where? Uh, grid reference is 10TDT 
420525. Oh, where on the car? Um, maybe where, sir? All the underside, the wheels, the axle. Uh, actually, no, sir, it hasn't got to your fine leather upholstery now that you ask. Acid devours fuel. When the acidic compounds detected in this part of the zone come into contact with fuel, both disappear into a vapour. Damage your car takes from acid is going to deplete even more fuel than usual. So acid already depletes fuel. Puncture probability. In this part of the zone, anomalies that damage car tyres are much more common, right? So it wasn't likely that our car just randomly gets punctured. It's just the anomalies, which is what we expected. Tree candy. It's cold but juicy, say off his notes. That's a description that's both profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to unhear. Uh, car maintenance. Blowtorch. This extremely atypical blowtorch is fueled by a restorative semi-organic compound that aids in reshaping and repairing damaged metalwork. It's not durable enough to last long, but it will help with basic repairs on the road. 11 health per second. I'm not sure what you're telling me. I guess we can use it, see what it does. Uh, what's in here now? Theories. There is number four. Take a good long look at that zone. All those botanists, biologists, chemists, Arda is using our backyard as a testbed for terraforming. They're reshaping our planet right under our noses. They're changing the oxygen content of the air. They're training giant electric moles to magnetise the soil. They've got robot dogs. And everyone who lives in air gets to enjoy it first. The rest of us dumbos don't know what's coming. And one day when they pull that lever, they'll change the whole planet. When I'm ready for them, I know how to protect myself. Mayonnaise. Sent by CC. Okay, I'm going to have a quick go at this uh, blowtorch for anyone who, you know, stuck around. I think I'll find it. There it is. Alright, use it. What does this do? Just like, fit stuff? Ooh. That's quick. How much does that take? Not too much. So this is like long-term uh, repair putty, but I'm guessing it won't work on tyres. It does. Not as fast, though. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, not unsurprising. But let's hold on to it, because, well, do I care? <laughs> now I think about it, a stack of repair putty compared to that. It's quicker, but it's... Okay. Right, well, that'll do it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you join me next time. <laughs> Charge battery. Did I leave it on? I left the lights on. Uh, and, yeah, we'll we'll go and follow the quest next time. Hopefully. And I, it's, have you seen any other quirks? Nothing is quirky about this car anymore. Oh, hello. I think I found another quirk. <laughs> oh, it just fell off. Is it a broken one? No, it just fell off. I don't know why it fell off. <laughs> uh, anyway, next time we'll go uh, quirk hunting, quirk guessing, and we'll go for a wander out into the world and follow the quest. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye. Um, addendum. I have just realised that Arc Doc is not document about upgrading the Arc device. It is the Arc Doc that we already got. That's why it was hoovered up in the thing. We found it before we knew about it. Arc Doc, as in Doctor, not Arc Doc, as in document. Fixed it.